Hey, my name is... What is... One, 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 one. How can that be? That's all I need. Did you hear the crack? Oh. Guys, Rafin here. Uh, yeah, for me, the highlight of the year, uh, it has definitely been the way that we as a church have uh, adapted so quickly uh, to a pandemic and how uh, we looked for alternatives rather than looking for excuses uh, not to do ministry. Uh, so for me, especially was the way uh, the recovery ministry, uh, as well as the NA meetings that we uh, were running in the building, uh, went so quickly on Zoom and to online platforms. And as a result, we were able to lead people to faith and to still pastor and care for people uh, in, a, in an alternative way. So we didn't look for excuses. We looked for ways of doing things differently. I wanted to share a couple of highlights from the youth work that's happening at the minute. One is that I've been able to get back out and detached and do um, some stuff on the estate on a Tuesday and I've met some amazing young people, a whole bunch of kids I've never met before and that has been really exciting to see them and begin to build up relationships with them. Another has been having young people volunteering with us over Easter, that's been so good. One of them is a football coach um, and the other just really helping out with some of the sessions that we run. Um, it's great to see young people stepping up like that. And um, another has just been some of the fun stuff we've done with packs at doors. So as kids have gone back to school, we've done packs. As lockdown started, we did packs to drop off. We did like special cooking packs. It's just really nice to see young people um, face to face on their doorstep and remind them that we're still thinking of them and still loving them. So two highlights for me this last year would be one night we went out at Brick Lane and we were sitting outside the bagel shop on the floor praying and a guy on a motorbike had stopped behind us. So we finished playing with this homeless lady. Then the guy got off his bike and said like, oh, what are you doing? Explained and stuff. And he actually gave us a very nice donation to help towards the homeless outreach, which was amazing. Second thing would be one night really late, I was on social media trying to like network the homeless outreach a bit and you know find my feet a bit more and I stumbled across a lady's post who was uh, giving away free food so I messaged her and it was like one o'clock in the morning and we started having this massive chat she was homeless for eight years and now she started up her own charity and we've like met a couple of times now and she's actually really helped me out with getting lots of sleeping bags and winter packs and things for the homeless outreach so yeah and she's got us in touch with Docklands FC and this Friday will be the first Friday we've been supplied with hot meals to hand out to the homeless people so yes lots of good stuff Hi there my name's David and I took over running the mission of a Haber Cafe in November and a habit is just over a year old now and um, it's had a bit of a crazy first year but we have done our best to keep our doors open we've kept praying for people we've kept sharing prophetic words we've kept you know being a, a source of uh, community and connection and a, an open door of the church seven days a week and um, yeah we've kept pursuing excellence and creativity in everything we do and we look forward to summer and we look forward to another amazing year. It's definitely a highlight for me that regardless of like, um, you know, the building being closed, we went out of the building and we kept on providing help and pastoral care to all those that needed. All right, God bless guys, love you.